Hello, Lana. Welcome to Manifested Online Classes. My name is James Kenyani. We are going to start on a new topic, longitudes and latitudes as written on the board. So before attending this lesson, the learner should have dealt with the trigonome trigonometric ratios, length of an arc, and the Cartesian coordinates, which are very important in this lesson. So the main objectives are, by the end of the, uh, the topic, the learner should be able to define great circles and small circles in relation to a sphere, including the Earth. To establish the relationship between the red eye of small and great circles, three, locate a place on the Earth's surface in terms of latitude and longitude, calculate the distance between two points along the great circles and small circles. Uh, using nautical miles and kilometers. Five, calculate the time in relation to longitudes. And lastly, calculate the speed in knots and kilometers per hour. But in our today's lesson, we cannot bite all that. We bite little by little. So in the startup lesson, we shall only look at small circles and big circles. We are going to look at small circles and great circles. So the main objective of this, uh, of this, we have the lesson small circles and great circles, is to enable the learner to identify what a small circle and great circle is when looking at the earth as a sphere. So, so the main objective as written is to enable the learner to understand small circles and great circles and great circles when relating them to the earth as a sphere. But to understand what we are going to talk about, eh? we have to look at the globe. This is a classroom globe, Lana. This is a classroom globe. In this topic, eh, the assumption we are going to make is that the Earth is a sphere. The Earth is a sphere. And in the previous lesson, we learned that all spheres are similar. All spheres are similar. So when we are looking at these, we assume that the earth is a sphere. So we relate the earth to a small sphere. So this one we call it a classroom globe, a classroom globe. So when assuming the earth is a sphere, we use this small globe to relate to the earth. So when moving to the topic small circles and great circles, small circles and great circles. So before that, when you are looking at the earth, this is the center of the earth. We can cut a line in the middle and we get two hemispheres, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. There are lines, you can see, they are running from the north pole. This is the north pole and that is the south pole. You can see these lines as I touch them. It is going across round. It is going across round through the North Pole and the South Pole. There are several of them. Each of that, that line can cut, cut the Earth into two spheres, which are equal. So those lines that go through the North Pole, round through the South Pole, those, all of them are great circles. When we relate these to the earth, they are called great circles. They run through the North Pole and through the South Pole and back. They are called great 
circles. The small circles, now there is this line. If you look at that, those lines, they look like vertical when you look at them at your perspective. But there are these lines that tend to run horizontally, that tend to run horizontally. When we consider those lines, there is only one line at the center that can be considered to be a great circle. There is only one circle at the center here that can be considered to be a great circle. All the other lines that run on the surface of the earth parallel to this line at the center will all be small circles. They'll all be small circles like this one, that one, that one, as you move towards the North Pole. And there is this one down, any line below this line, the center going down to the South Pole will be a small circle. So there is something you've discovered. All lines that run through the North Pole round, through the South Pole, round the Earth, all of them are great circles. But when you come to the other side, a line that will be less the center. If I move to this, this will be a small circle. A uh, small circle, a small circle as you move to the northern hemisphere. And as you move towards the southern hemisphere, you get those circles. So there are some assumptions to be made when looking. at small circles and great circles and great circles. There is an assumption we make. Eh? The earth is assumed. Eh? to be a sphere. That is number one. The earth is assumed to be a sphere. That's why I was relating it to the classroom globe, which is a sphere. When studying So as you see, we relate our earth to the classroom globe, which is also a sphere, which is a sphere. We relate the earth to a classroom globe, which is all a sphere. And we learned earlier that, earlier that all spheres are similar. From what I've just explained, you realize, we realize something from this, this is what you get. So that is assumed to be the center of the earth. That is assumed to be the center of the earth. So we have N. That is the North Pole. And we have S, the South Pole. We have S, the South Pole. So we realize there is a line at the center here. And there were those lines that were going through. There were these lines running through the North Pole to the South Pole. There were those lines.
lana that is what we got there so or i have all there that will be the center of my earth or is the center of the earth or is the center of the earth or is the center of the earth so i'll take the globe again to explain looking at the globe this is what i have eh? lana this is what i have related to what i've written on the board this sphere has a center inside it has a center inside so this is the north pole and that is the south pole you can see those lines that were running from the right through the north pole to the other ends those are great circles those are great circles when we come and look the, uh, those ones run like in a horizontal north to to south they run north to south all any line that run through the globe through the north pole to the south pole round again that will be a great circle there will be a great circles but we are going to see other lines other lines that will run from the west to east i'm going to draw other lines that run from the west to east we have these ones So we have these lines that are running from west to east. There is only one. There is a characteristic we notice. Eh? Lines that run through the North Pole to the South Pole. Pole round the earth are called great circles. They are called great circles, Lana. We have other lines, eh? lines that run from east to west. Eh? lines that run so just to show that huh? to show the difference somebody will, somebody would So those are the great circles. Great circles. Great circles. Great circles, Lana. This will be small circles. And this these are also so there is something you discover lana there is a line at the center there is this line at the center here it is the only line that runs from the east west to east that is a great circle great circle great circle so you realize the line at the center is the only great circle 
in that direction. So Lana, you be careful. It is only this line at the center running from west to east that is a great circle. It will be a great circle. You'll discover later as we continue, all great circles will have a radius equal to the radius of the earth. All great circles will have a radius equal to the radius of the earth. So we can even include here all great circles have a radius equal to the radius of the earth radius of the all great circles have a radius equal to the radius of the earth so i just a recap when looking at small circles and great circles the earth is assumed to be a sphere when studying we relate it to the classroom globe which is also a sphere and from the relationship of all spheres being similar it is easy uh, to learn uh, about those characteristics of great circles and small circles on the globe on the earth on that earth so as i said we are not going to bite everything i'll give just a short assignment on uh, what we have related So as I finish up that learner, I'll explain that even using the globe. Eh? Draw the earth globe and show the small and great circles as I have explained. Eh? You've just seen how the great circles move. And there is an exception of a great circle for the other opposite lines running from west to east. Then which of, which is the only line running from west to east? Eh? You can say west to east, not east to west, west to east, eh? which is the only line running from west to east that is a great circle. You can explain that using its direction. Where is it, is it at there on the earth's globe? So enjoy yourself as you answer that before we meet in the next lesson to enjoy learning about the longitudes and the latitudes. And before I close up, uh, this knowledge we are going to get in longitudes helps those, the pilot in the air to know where he's going. And it also helps the person navigating the ship in the waters to arrive at his best destination so this uh, information we shall get in the topic is of utmost importance to the pilot and the navigators of those ships so thank you very much and let's meet in the next lesson with the greatest agility to continue bye bye <laughs>